So today we are looking at the RTX Linux. So the latest version is a uh, 2024-08-19. So this is the uh, ISO file edition or the ISO file number or you can call it as the RTX Linux August edition. So let me quickly boot it in the live boot. So I'm going to give you a small description of the RTX Linux. So it is a fork or a continuation as an uh, autonomous project of the Arch OpenRC and uh, the Manjaro OpenRC project. So it offers a lightweight rolling release operating system. So featuring the OpenRC in its software. So you also get the alternative spins features, the Runit and S6 in its software. And also several editions of the Arch uh, RTX Linux are available featuring uh, either a plain command line or uh, one of several desktop environment. So it's uh, based on Arch and the architecture is uh, x64, uh, not the x64, it's uh, x8664 or the 64 bit. And the desktop edition you should be getting the Cinnamon LTE, LXQT, Matte Desktop Environment, KDE Plasma and XFCE. So these are all the things about the uh, RTX Linux. So it completely booted up uh, when we are talking. So it just took like a 30, 40 seconds maybe. So if you ask about the system requirements uh, right now, I am not going to say anything because we don't have any system requirements. So I'm going to open uh, my system monitor or the task manager and I'm going to say how much of uh, resources you need. So basically you can uh, blindly say or uh, without uh, checking you can say you need to have like a 2 gigahertz processor and about the hard disk you need to have like a, at least a 50 GB of hard disk and about the RAM you need to have 4 GB of RAM. So these are all the things is uh, completely from me because uh, it's a 2024 in order to run almost every Linux distro you need to have this much of specs to run most of the Linux distros. So if you have this much of specs, you need to have uh, running almost like a 70 to 80 percent of every type of uh, Linux distro. So this distro is from globally. So there is no specific country for this uh, RTX Linux. So I can't say where it's from. So I can say just as a global. And uh, let's get to the uh, video now. So let me open the uh, task manager or the system monitor. So I don't want to change any display settings until I see all the resources consuming. So I'm going to change the display setting as soon as everything is seen. So right now we are running the Cinnamon desktop environment. So there are also other desktop environment but I choose the uh, Cinnamon desktop environment. So these are all the process running right now. Let me check the about system monitor. So you get the latest version which is a 46.0 if you want you can click on the details for additional information you can go for the website and uh, here is the resources so right now it's consuming almost like a 30 40 percent so we need to run almost like a minute or a 60 seconds to see how much of a resource it's consuming and uh, when we go to the ram side it's consuming 1.1 gb of ram and cache is 1.1 gb so I'm using a, a 8 GB of RAM. So I forgot to mention that I'm using a VMware, which is a virtual machine. And uh, I gave the 60 GB of virtual disk for the VMware and also the 8 GB of RAM for the VMware. And uh, another thing is uh, my CPU is uh, i5-1240p. So these are my hardware specs or the virtual machine uh, specs. So right now it's uh, almost uh, under 25%, 30% of our CPU and RAM is almost 1.1 uh, GB. So I'm going to uh, keep the system monitor in the right side corner throughout the video. So let's first change the display settings. Let's click on display. So my monitor is 1920 into 1080. So if you ask uh, the monitor if uh, what monitor you should be using for this Linux distro, you need to have like a 1366 into 768. So it's a 2024 you need to have like a 1366 into 768 monitor and about the CPU you need to have 2, two gigahertz or dual core or uh, anything above that will be better and uh, 4 GB RAM will be uh, best and uh, another thing hard disk should be like a 50 GB will be a best option but if you have like a 30 GB it should also work. So these are the requirements of uh, Linux distros like uh, in order to run almost every Linux distro you need to have at least this much of uh, specs. So I'm going to keep the system monitor in the right side corner. So let's open the internet browser. So we have some browser here. 
So usually Firefox will be a default browser for almost every Linux distro, but we have some uh, default browser. I think this is a GNOME browser. So one thing you should understand about the RTX Linux, as soon as you open the browser, so you can see there will be a multiple tabs opened. So they will be providing all the shortcuts. So complete like a five to six tabs. So right now it's a six tabs. So you need to understand that you should be consuming a lot of RAM here. So they will be adding all the shortcuts. So you need to understand that it's not a malware or anything like that. So they provided all the links for the RTX Linux. So that's the reason they all open at once. So the version you get is a 46.3 and there is no release note in the official website, but I'm going to provide uh, any changes in the description. So you don't need to worry about it. So it's a based on Arch Linux, which I already mentioned, and it's a rolling release distribution. So I provided every information in the beginning, but uh, we need to see some distro information also. I'm going to show you everything. So here is the RTX Linux repos. Here is the URL. Let me close it. And uh, here is the wiki of uh, RTX Linux. So let me do that bigger so you can see properly. So let's make it bigger. So here is the wiki page. And uh, here is the forum. If you want any information, you can go to the forum and uh, discuss there. Here are the languages. Let me close it. So here is the official website and here is the Wikipedia. And also there is a distro watch page for the RTX Linux. If you want, you can go to the distro watch and uh, get the information. Here is the Wikipedia. So you should be getting all the information here, which I already mentioned in the beginning, like a desktop environments and other information. But if you want to still go and uh, check on your own, you can check it on the on your own. So here is the official website. So there is no release note. So I'm going to show you only the downloading thing. So in order to download the ISO file, you just need to find the download here. So mirror list. So let me scroll it down. So here you should be seeing the download on the upper page and uh, here is the mirrors. You should get me all the information right here. So there are a lot of mirrors available here. So choose whatever mirror you want and I'm going to choose the United States uh, server here for downloading the ISO file. And here are the all the files with the desktop environment like a base, cinnamon, and the community LXDE, Mad Desktop Environment, Plasma and XFCE which I already mentioned in the beginning. So download whatever desktop environment you want and check the version of uh, date. We, uh, you need to see it's an August version because the version itself says as a 2024 0819 edition as you can see here. And download whatever desktop environment you, you want here. So I'm going to choose the Cinnamon. And the ISO file is around 1.8 GB and here is our download. I'm using a VPN so that's the reason it's a bit slow. So it should be quick uh, if you have like a 10 MB or 15 MB of uh, internet speed. So I'm going to close the browser because we got all the information from the browser. So let me open the terminal and keep an eye on the CPU and RAM throughout the video because you need to decide on your own and uh, you can judge on it uh, on your own whether to use this distribution or not. So let's check the version about. So you get the version 3.52.2 for the uh, GNOME 46. So you get the latest versions. So let me type in NeoFetch and uh, hit enter. So it says command not found. So you need to install the NeoFetch on your own. Now let's type in INXI. And right now you should be seeing some information. Let me change the color so you can uh, properly see everything. Let's go to the colors. Let's keep it gnome light. Let's keep it like that. So the CPU, which I already mentioned, I'm using uh, i5 12th gen CPU. So I accidentally changed the size of the terminal. So as you can see, there is some issue with the mouse cursor. Let me click on Alt. So the CPU is uh, i5 12th generation, i5 1240p and the kernel you are getting is uh, 6.10.3. So let me show you the latest uh, uh, Linux kernel version. 
So the latest Linux kernel available right now is the 6.10.6, .6, but you are getting 6.10.3. Let me show you. Linux kernel. Hit enter. So the first URL or the first link will be the official website. So the latest version should be 6.10.6, which is a stable version and the release candidate version is a 6.11 rc4 so we just need the 6.10.6 .6 version so it's released on 2024-08-19 so right now we are using the latest version almost uh, 0.3 updates difference so that's okay you get the latest version or the latest uh, kernel version here so uptime is almost 8 minutes and uh, ram is almost 1.11 gb of uh, 8 gb so it's a 1.2 gb here so storage which I already mentioned I'm using a 60 GB of a virtual disk for my VMware. So INXI version is 3.3.35 and process running are 285. So let me type in INXI dash small b hit enter and you should be seeing the host as the RTX Linux kernel which I already mentioned. It's a 64-bit and the desktop environment cinnamon the version is 6.2.1 not one it's a 6.2.9 so I think this is the latest version you can just uh, type in uh, cinnamon desktop environment in the search engine and you should be getting the latest information there and destroy it says as the RTX Linux and here is my virtual machine information I think it's uh, better to ignore this thing because it's not uh, worthy so about the CPU which I already mentioned in the beginning and about the graphics the display is x11 server is a uh, xarch version 1.21.1.13 with the xvland version 24.1.2 and the vm wgfx version is 2.20.0.0 and also the resolution we are using for the monitor is uh, 1920 into 1080 with a uh, 60 hertz and here is the OpenGL and here is some uh, same uh, information as the above. So I'm going to provide all the information. So you just need to wait. Let me type in some another command. INXI dash capital F hit enter. And you should be seeing some additional information here. So these are all the same things, nothing added here. So OpenGL version didn't show anything but I'm going to show in the another command so about the audio information pulse audio version 17.0 ELSA version is right here so here is some network information if you consider it as important you can read everything let me scroll it down so here is some of the other information which you already mentioned in the beginning so let me type in INXI dash capital G hit enter you should be seeing same uh, graphics information which you already seen so let me type in cat colon slash etc colon slash issue hit enter you should be seeing the user and password so here is the uh, user and password for the rtx linux you just need to type in like this and uh, let me type in the final command which is inxi dash sv8 hit enter and this command will grab complete destroy information so you should be getting all the information so instead of all the top commands you just need to type in inxi dash sv8 so for uh, clear information i showed everything like a detail but uh, you just need to type in inxi dash sv8 to get all the information so RTX Linux kernel which I already mentioned so compiler GCC version is 14.2.1 uh, and the cinnamon desktop environment which we already mentioned TK GTK version is uh, 3.24.43 muffin version is uh, 6.2.0 and light DM version is 1.32.0 distro it says RTX Linux and uh, it's based on Arch Linux which I already mentioned in the beginning but here is the clear information so here is the other memory information if you consider as uh, important you can just read it here 
So here is the CPU information like uh, vulnerabilities and all the other information. You just need to pause the video and read everything but I'm going to show you some additional information. So display we already saw everything here. So here is the monitor uh, resolutions available and uh, XORs which I already mentioned in the beginning so we need, just need to scroll it down. So here is the pipe wire version 1.2.2 uh, pulse audio which I already mentioned. Here is the jack version 1.9.22. So you got all the complete information like ALSA complete audio information. So let me scroll it down and you should be seeing the network information, the Bluetooth information. So there is no Bluetooth found in this uh, virtual machine because I didn't use Bluetooth here. So that's the reason it says no Bluetooth data found. So here is some of the USB information and uh, partitions unmounted and all the other information. So here are the repos. If you want to uh, read everything, you can read by pausing the video. And here is the process. Here is the memory and uh, uptime is almost 13 minutes and the other information is right here like a shell bash version is uh, 5.2.32 and uh, some additional information will be also right here if you want you can read it so process 284 and you got all the information right here so let's finally type head stop so head stop is also not pre-installed so we got all the information from the terminal so let me close it now let's go to the installation process so here you should be getting the options like offline and online so first i'm going to show you the offline and uh, i'm going to show you the installation process in the offline and then as soon as it's completed i'm going to show you the online uh, installation also so in the offline you need to first uh, let's first check the Calamaras installer. So you should be getting 3.3.7 for RTX Linux rolling. So first choose your language. There are uh, tons of languages available, pretty much everything available. Click on next, choose your location. You can choose the map or you can choose the drop down menu for the location. You don't need to provide the actual location, but you can provide anything you want. So the system language will be set to American English United States. If you want to customize, you can change it according to your wish or else you can just keep it like that. The numbers and date locales will be set to American English United States. If you want to keep it like that, keep it or else you can change according to your wish. Click on next and here you should be seeing the keyboard. Choose your keyboard here. So it automatically chooses your keyboard, but if you want to still change it, you can change it. Choose your language, choose your variant. And after everything here you can test your keyboard and also if you want you can switch your keyboard right here after everything click on next here is the partitions so if you don't know how to install the Linux distro you can uh, watch uh, the installation tutorials in the YouTube there are a lot of channels available I never made a installation specific installation tutorials of the Linux but I covered almost everything in that uh, distro videos that's the reason my videos will be lengthy so it's better to watch some short videos like a two or three minutes of installation and you should be good with the installation. But I'm going to show you the basic things here and I'm going to inform the basic information here. First you need to choose your specific hard disk or the installation drive. So if you have like a multiple installation drive, choose the uh, preferred one or the specific drive where you want to install. So this option is it's going to erase everything in that uh, specific drive like a media files, even its uh, current operating system. And it's going to install the RTX Linux in that specific drive. So here are the options. And the another option is like a manual partitioning. So you need to create a partition before choosing this option and the partition will be right here. And you need to choose that partition and install the RTX Linux in that partition. And in the boot menu, you should be seeing two operating systems. One will be the current operating system and other will be the RTX Linux. So you should be seeing the dual boot options in the boot menu. So that's the difference between single boot and the dual boot. So it automatically closed for some reason. I don't know why, but let's try to open it again. So it accidentally closed. I don't know why, but uh, let's try to open it again. So let me go to the partitions. I'm going to choose same things. So when you choose the edit disk option, you should be having the encryption here. You can provide the password in the both the boxes. 
and you can encrypt if you don't want just uncheck it and here is the mask boot logo location or the bootloader, lo bootloader location so the first option will be mask boot record for the specific installation drive and the other will be system partition and the final one will be do not install a bootloader so if you watch the tutorials you need to know how to you should be having an idea how to install so this is some basic things there is nothing complicated just watch tutorials and you should be good with it so after clicking on next you should be seeing the user account creation here so this is the same thing which you always see in every operating system provide your name here what is your name i'm going to provide my channel name to file next so if everything is working good you should be seeing a tick mark here so if anything is wrong you should be seeing into mark what name do you want to use to login for example i am choosing the numericals first so you should be seeing some error sign here so i am choosing the number so it says your username must start with a lowercase letter or underscore so you need to use uh, alphabets here let me type in unboxing so as you can see everything is good now so everything has a tick mark right here so you can remove the additional information here what is the name of this computer i'm going to keep it like a 9 to 5 linux and you need to choose a password to keep your account safe for uh, sake of the video i'm choosing the simple password like a one to six numbers same thing in the again so if you want to test your password require strong password it's going to give you information like this so login automatically without asking for the password if you want you can check it and if you want the same password like this one as the for the administrator just check it if you don't want uh, the same password just provide the different password here so if everything is good you should be seeing every tick mark here and click on next and you should be seeing a summary of whatever you choose in the previous installation will be right here so the first uh, partition or the installation drive will be like this and after installation it will be like this and here is some of the information what will happen to your drive when you click on install it's going to take like a maybe 20 to 25 minutes depends on the pc if you have like a good end pc it should be very quick it should be taking like a eight or nine minutes but if you have a low end pc it should be uh, taking 20 to 25 minutes and also if you downloaded the stable ISO file, the installation will be going smoothly without any issues and the time will also be uh, low. And when you download the beta version, development version or the alpha version, sometimes the installation may fail and also there will be some uh, screen frozen will be, uh, you should be visibly seeing the uh, screen will be uh, completely black screen or the installation will be frozen. So you should be seeing this type of issues if you have an unstable ISO file. So you need to understand to download always a stable ISO file. But if you are a distro hopper or a, if you are a uh, distro tester, you can try it in the virtual machines. There will be no issues. So even if you had any issues, you can just directly delete the virtual disk and uh, try to create again. So you can do that options in the virtual disk. So let's get to the online installation. Let me open double click and let me choose the online one. So let's wait. So it, it's going to take a few seconds here. So the installation will be different like this. Calamaras, you get the same installation. So again, same things. Click next, location, next, keyboard. And uh, here is init selection. So here are the options, choose whatever you want here, click on next and uh, here is the package selection. So these are all the things will be added in the online account or the online installer. So here are some additional information. So choose according to your wish, check the options and uh, decide whatever you want. Click on next and uh, again same thing partition, user account, summary and installation. So that's the installation process. So just the packages and the init system is different there. So I thought there will be some desktop options like a desktop environment options, but you don't get anything there. So let's check what applications you get pre-installed in the RTX Linux. So as you can see, everything is uh, from the Cinnamon desktop environment. So there is nothing other than the installer and uh, maybe some other applications, I guess. 
but you don't get anything here so you just get the basic uh, uh, cinnamon desktop environment of the rtx linux which is based on arch linux so rtx linux is based on arch linux so you get the uh, clean desktop environment of a uh, cinnamon you don't get any additional applications or anything added like a gimp or anything there is nothing uh, applications added like a basic day-to-day uh, -day task using applications like a normal user will be using like a gimp photo editor image editor or like a vlc media player and all those things so in this case you don't get anything you need to install everything you just get the media player and some volume controller so i don't think there is anything to show in the applications because there is nothing here and also the desktop environment you already used a lot of times uh, the cinnamon desktop environment so it's even waste to show anything here so i showed every important information like a linux kernel information and uh, pulse audio and all this audio information so i don't think there is nothing to show here and also this is not a major release or anything like that so you don't see any major features or anything so you just get the uh, august edition so it's clearly up to you to decide whether to use it or not so when you ask about the hardware uh, right now it's consuming uh, pretty much under 30 40 percent of the cpu and ram is almost 1.3 gb so it says as a lightweight but uh, i don't consider it as a lightweight because it's almost a 1.3 gb and cache is like a 1.6 gb and cpu is almost under 40 40 percent so in my opinion i don't consider it as a lightweight it's a midweight uh, linux distro i can say it like that but it's not a lightweight and also you need to remember that i'm using a virtual machine and also i'm running it on the ram so there will be some uh, 200 mb 300 mb difference in the ram but still it will be consuming like a 900 mb or uh, 1 gb when you open a single application so it's clearly up to you to judge whether to use it or not or whether to call it as a lightweight or not it's clearly up to you so I said my final thoughts. So there is no issue when opening the applications or uh, switching the applications. I didn't face any issues. So everything is running properly. And also Cinnamon desktop environment most of the time will be not having any issues. So if you had issues, do let me know in the comment section. But if you want to still try it, you can try it on your own. So you get the same Cinnamon desktop environment applications and all those things. So I don't think it's uh, worth showing everything. So here is the Cinnamon desktop environment version, kernel version which I already mentioned. So these are all the same things which I already mentioned. So here are the backgrounds but uh, they are not loading anything here. So it's completely slowly loading. So I don't think I need to wait and waste my time just for this uh, video because I need to make another video so that's the reason. So you get the same wallpapers nothing is changed here so i'm going to close it you can change the wallpapers if you want so here is the mouse pointer you can change your mouse pointer here is the applications here are the icons here are the desktop you can go with the simplified settings if you want and also you can add and remove uh, some uh, extensions or the applications not the applications like a uh, Teams. you can customize uh, according to your wish you can download you can search and you can change the settings you can change light mode or uh, dark mode so these are all the same things so i'm going to end the video so here is some configuration pdf i want to show you this so they added everything here for the networking user permission elsa base open rc so these are all the things if you want you can read it and if you want to test it you can test it always try it in the live boot or the virtual machines then go with the installation even if it's a stable uh, stably running it's better to always try it in the live boot or the virtual machines first then if you're satisfied then go with the installation so i think i'm going to end the video here because there is no major changes i said the system requirements i said all the uh, where it's based on and the origin so the origin is globally uh, so the rtx linux is from the globally you can say it there is no specific country so these are all the resources at the end of the video i didn't even open any of the applications because there is no applications included with the rtx linux you just get the basic uh, uh, cinnamon desktop environment in order to download you need to install everything on your own so let's check the file manager 
So you should be having the Nemo, which is 6.2.8. You already know how to customize and change the preference. So these are all the same things, nothing changed here. So you can customize according to your wish. And if you want to try it, do let me know in the comment section. And if you tested, do let me know in the comment section where, how it performed on your PC. And also let me know what are your hardware specs because we need to know how uh, it performs on that specific uh, PC. So I already mentioned my uh, PC specs which is uh, i5-1240p is my CPU, 8GB of RAM for the virtual disk and also 60GB for the virtual disk for the VMware. So that's the end. Let's show you the logo logout screen and I'm going to end the video here. So throughout the video I didn't add any issues so that's a good thing. And here are some sessions like a Plasma X11, here is the Cinnamon. So let me show you this thing and I'm going to end the video. Let me keep the Plasma X11. The password is RTX. So that's the password for the uh, live boot. So you should be seeing X11 now. So let's wait. It's still loading and also the wallpaper might be changed I guess. So it should take like a maybe a minute or maybe 30-40 seconds I don't know but uh, we need to wait. So if you know any other Linux issues which I didn't make in my channel do let me know in the comment section because I run out of uh, every uh, content because we don't have any new releases in the Linux issue that's the reason. So if you know any new Linux distros, do let me know in the comment section, we can make a video on it. So I'll be posting two videos daily without missing. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. And also give some uh, information of uh, some specific Linux distros so I can make a video. So right now we are seeing still a mouse pointer. I think it's going to take a, a few minutes maybe. Because the uh, in the live boot and the cinnamon desktop environment loaded completely pretty much very fast it took just like a 40 seconds in the booting process but in the x11 it's it's going to take a lot of time i think so still now we are not seeing anything so the password is uh, rtx linux it's just the rtx for the live boot so you just need to type in a r t i x in the small letters and the password uh, will be opened so I'm still waiting. I don't see anything here. I don't know at least it works or not. I'm still seeing the mouse pointer. So I think I'm going to end the video. It's going to take a lot of time to uh, open. So that's the reason I'm going to end the video here. So thanks for watching. Peace out.